Welcome to the second video in our series, Ranarex Studio Quick Start. This video describes the components of a Ranarex solution and the parts of the Ranarex Studio user interface. You will learn how to create a new solution. To begin, open Ranarex Studio. The Studio Start page appears. On the left side, in the Sample Projects section, locate the desktop example and click to open it. The Ranarex Studio user interface appears. On the left, you see the Projects view. The top item in the hierarchy is the solution. This solution contains one project and all of the libraries and files required to execute that project. While it is possible to have two or more projects in a solution, it is a best practice to have just one project per solution. Below the Projects view, you see the Ranarex module browser. A module is a small bit of code that executes one or more test steps. You can combine modules to create sophisticated automated test cases. There are two types of modules. Recording modules, which are created by the Ranarex recorder during a capture and replay session, and code modules, which are created by test automation personnel using c -sharp or VB.net. You will notice that modules can be organized into logical groups. In the sample desktop project, there are two groups, a start and login group with two recording modules and one code module, and a save and close group with two recording modules. Click on a module to see the variables associated with it. In the center of the screen is the file view. When you double click on an item in the projects window or the module browser, the associated file opens here. For example, let's take a look at the contents of the add entry recording module. When you open a recording module, the file view automatically opens in action editor mode so that you can edit the recording. This particular recording module contains a series of actions, including mouse clicks and key sequences. Below the actions, you can see the repository items for the recording. Each repository item represents a UI element in the application under test. Click on the first action in the action editor, and you will see a screenshot of the corresponding UI item in the repository. Now it's time to see how to create your own solution. Click File, Close, Solution to return to the Ranarex Studio start screen. Click New Test Solution. Choose c -sharp as the programming language. You can change this later to vb.net if you prefer. The next step is to give the project a name. Let's call it First Test. By default, the solution containing the project will have the same name. You can accept the default location or click the button to choose a new location. Check the box Create Directory for Solution to create the solution files within the Ranarex Studio directory structure. Click Add to Source Control if you wish to add the project directly to a source control server, then click Create. Ranarex Studio supports Git, Subversion, and Microsoft Team Foundation Server. The Ranarex Studio user interface appears with your new solution. At this point, the module browser contains a single empty recording. Watch the next video in this series to learn how to create a recording module.